Got a little bit of model prep here in front of me today. I always like to get uh, get a little bit of this prepped before heading to my client to do this measurement session here. But I've got this big frame, this big weldment here. There's a ton of dimensions on this thing, which makes this really kind of fun. But um, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, one of the simple things inside of model prep. Um, well, let me first run to the drawing here a second. Okay, so here is part of that frame. And I'll zoom in just a little bit more too. But okay, here's one good thing. Get this. So my client has already ballooned this drawing for me. This is really sweet. They give me a, a drawing like this that's got all of their balloons already specified. So that for me is a really good time saver. But what I've got here, notice this. I'm looking in this plan view right here. This area right here. I'll zoom in just a little bit more as well. So I've got a true position that is looking right down on all of these little welded brackets. That true position shows up right here with a size, that's DIM 21, and a true position, which is DIM 22. Okay, let me run back to Polyworks. Okay, so what that is, since this frame is already welded up here in this CAD model, it's just this area here that we're concerned with to grab those dimensions. All right, and you can see right here, I'll zoom in on that. This series of these through holes is what is that dimension that is true position. And it's not looking for that true position on each of these weldments. It is looking at that as a as a hole, as a hole, as a, as a W-H-O-L-E. Okay, so true position is through this whole cylindrical feature, not just through each of the individual holes. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to form a cylinder that is going to be made up of all of those features. Okay, now back to the drawing here again. Right here again, that cylinder or that true position is going to be dimension 22. Great, so let me go back over here to Polyworks. So what I'll do is I'll go onto this feature here, this create cylindrical features. If you don't have this icon showing up in your, your toolbar here, it would be found under measure, features, create, I'm going down right there, cylinders. So I'll click on that. These are all left mouse button. What I typically like to do then is I'll give that feature a name. I'm going to call that my DIM 22 cylinder. Okay, now get this. My method is going to be picked from CAD, but here's what I wanted to show today is this sub-method of clicking on multiple surfaces. So I'll hit the, the pick icon here, left mouse key. Now look at this. My cursor turns to that finger pointer and what it's looking for now is any feature that is a cylinder that it can find in the CAD model here and it's highlighting them. Okay, So look at that. It's highlighting that little feature there and since all of these holes are kind of cut at that same size I'm going to start picking on all of them. So let me go here with this first one. Left mouse click and I can come down to this guy here. Left mouse click Gonna grab him, left mouse click there, and then this feature here, left mouse click on him. So I've clicked all the way through that feature, or that series of features, to develop this full cylinder. And then right mouse key saves it. Okay, good. So let me close out of that a second. So there we have it. Now that cylinder is made up of multiple cylinders to, uh, to determine that entire feature. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to add some more of those features and I'm going to make this a true position and, um, and take it a step further. But just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to grab multiple cylinders or multiple surfaces in that CAD model to determine that entire cylindrical surface.